Spencer, with this one um, on that last play, Jock described that last play, what he what he wanted for Mikkel Bridges to cut to the basket. What did you see on that that kind of caused that turnover? Um, man, it was probably just miscommunication. I can't speak for Royce. And for that fourth quarter for the Sixers to kind of get back into that game and things started to change, was that a matter of not getting the stops or what was just kind of the key that allowed the Sixers to kind of get back into the swing? Yeah, no, I mean, we had turnovers. Um, you know, obviously they couldn't convert shots. And, and you know, Embiid, obviously, even though he's not um, – putting up necessarily in bead style numbers he's still a problem just because uh, we have to double and then you know rotations and then you know those guys knocking down some shots Spencer you guys had that great run at a halftime to get back in the game just yeah. what, what changed offensively between the third and fourth quarter I mean I feel like we just missed shots and slowed down a bit to be honest I think um, we had a stretch where we were getting some quality threes where we probably could have put the game out of reach when we were up you know maybe about five or something um, and we didn't convert and allowed him to stay in the game. And how much did things change for you guys just when Nick got ejected given how important he is? Oh I mean you can look at the uh, plus minuses right he's the only one positive and he's very positive um, obviously a big time uh, just anchor for our team defensively um, you know, was doing his job uh, at a at a very high level tonight. Spencer, you you guys, Embiid uh, looked like he was hurt a lot during the game. You guys kind of neutralized him pretty well. Were you surprised he got to that ball on your drive there? Um, I mean, he's a he's a great player. Yeah, I mean, um, in those situations, the tough part is like you don't have that many options, right? Like you're down, you gotta go fast. So you know, he's a great player, made a, a great time and play. Um, Really about it. Spencer, on that note, were, how surprised were you guys that Joel wasn't kicked out after he kicked Nick in the groin? Um, I mean, probably, probably just because of the Draymond precedent, very surprised. But, you know, I mean, what am I going to do? Spencer, obviously big picture, down 3 nothing. How do you guys claw back in this? Um, I mean, you preach a one game at a time mentality. Obviously, uh, uh, people have come back from 3-1 before, um, you know, and that's, that's kind of what they say. So you preach a one game mentality and, and take step by step. Joel picked up that fifth with four or five minutes left. Was there any discussion about going at him, trying to foul him out after that? Um, yes, definitely. Um, obviously, something that we weren't able to do. Um, like I said, I, th I feel like we got, for the most part, pretty solid looks. Um, especially a couple of threes that we got off that, you know, we probably would want back. Um, yeah. Jacques said he wanted you guys to initiate the fight tonight. You obviously came out firing early in the first quarter. Was that a message you guys took to heart, trying to just bring the bring the pressure early where there was just not being down 2-0, but just bringing that pressure like Jacques wanted to hit first? Um, yeah, I mean, he preaches that all the time, you know. Uh, Coming out, trying to be aggressive on all fronts, uh, especially defense, um, knowing that we're trapping, um, you know, being aggressive, especially uh, when he's not in the scoring area, so trying to get steals and things like that, and, you know, not trying to foul when he is in the scoring area. So so all those messages, uh, you know, he just wanted a heightened sense of urgency, of course, being down 2-0. Um, and, I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, to, to start, we kind of did that. The other day you mentioned about how you're optimistic because you guys have been within striking zone in the first two games. Another game where you guys have been close to pulling out the win. What can you take from these three games as you now prepare for a must-win game four, just some positives that you've seen? Um, again, I think uh, defensively uh, we did a pretty good job, held them right around 100 points, um, caused some turnovers. Um, obviously, again, limited uh, Embiid. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think uh, we had a, a fairly high effort level. Um, yeah, I mean, just just not quite enough plays. Spencer is, is one of the leaders in the locker room. Do you, do you feel like there's a, a need to make sure that the guys aren't getting too frustrated by the way things played out with the refs and some of the mistakes tonight? Or is this a group that doesn't need that reminder going to game four? Um, no, I mean, I, I think we understand the gravity of the situation. So um, I don't think we're using necessarily the rest as any more fuel or something of, of that nature. I mean, we have a tall task in front of us, and we have a next game uh, mentality.
Uh, the team has only the team has taken 97 threes over the three games so far, but uh, less than a quarter of them have come from the corners. Do you think that's something the Sixers are doing intentionally, or is that just sort of the way the ball is flowing? Probably a little bit of both. Um, you know, I think they're definitely trying to do a good job taking away one of the most high-value shots uh, in basketball. And uh, we got to do a better job hunting the corners in terms of spacing and, you know, making plays they, they get the ball there.